it's Holly and I finally am home from the fiber fair as you guys know on May 19th and 20th up at the tip of the mitt of Michigan which is actually just in Petoskey Michigan they had a fiber fair going on and I went up with some friends and we did a whole girls weekend so I'm finally here to do my uh, to show you guys some pictures from the fiber fair and show you the haul which actually turned into being a the fiber fair and there was a yarn store there in Petoskey going out of business so it's kind of a two-store haul but first off I'm going to show you guys a bunch of photos and a couple little clips from the actual fiber fair Okay, so we just walked around the entire Tip of the Mint Fiber Fest. Uh, what do you think, Elise? Um, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, for the most part, but it, it was pretty good. But it's very small. That is why there's not much footage, and this video is kind of short. Uh, Judah's having fun here, but okay. we had fun. It, it was smaller than we had expected, but the people were super, super nice. And we got a lot of great yarn and the kids are running around like maniacs but you know how it is that's how that's how we roll on the proper pineapple okay <laughs> but we will do a haul of what we got we didn't get a lot but we did get some stuff and it was great and we met a lot of great vendors i'll talk about okay guys okay so we left the fiber festival and we are actually on our way to a yarn store here in town in petoskey that's going out of business which is super, super sad, but we're gonna go over and say hi. Everybody back there, see the kids all back there? Yep. I'm not driving, I'm eating trail mix. That's great. Anyways, we're driving right along Lake Michigan. You probably can't see it out the window, you just see Michelle driving. So I should wait. <laughs> but okay, so I will do some filming in there too. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, I gotta go. have more actual footage around the fiber fair there was a lot of people and it got kind of like shaky trying to film for you guys but it was a ton of fun it was a smaller fair than what I had expected but it was only I found out once I got there only the second year they ever had it so for only being its second year I thought it was pretty awesome we had a lot of fun 
I met a lot of great vendors at the fair. I only bought from, th well, four technically, but the fourth one, um, I just bought a little pin, and I'm going to show you that first, actually. I'll show you that right now. It was absolutely adorable. Look at this little llama pin. Isn't that cute, guys? Just the cutest little llama, and it was only $1.50, um, and they didn't actually make them. They just had brought them in, so, um, but I had to show you that. I got one for my daughter, too. I don't know what I'm going to do with this little guy, but he's so cute. Now onto the yarny stuff of it. I had a plan when I went up there. My plan was to walk around the entire fiber fair, then go back. So that way, if I found stuff I liked, I didn't like buy a bunch at one booth and then get to the next booth and be like, oh no, we don't have any money for this. So I planned, I planned it out. And so many great, so many great yarns as I walked around. And the first one I fell in love with was not actually the first one I bought, but I will show it to you now. It actually, the bag is a little ripped up because the car ride home was hard, but it was from Roberta Ray Fibers, and I have a business card here. Roberta Ray Fibers. Um, you can find them, you can email them at RobertaRayFibers at Gmail. Um, and they have a phone number here too. Um, I guess it's okay if I give it out. It's on their business card, right? So 231-675-7165. And I don't know about their online presence, but I, I would assume you could probably find them on Facebook and Instagram on that too. And the yarn that I fell in love with was this beautiful skein here, guys. Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, it's so to die for. Okay, let me tell you about this beautiful one. One, the name is called Quiet Riot, which is hilarious and I love it. How perfect is that? It is a fingering weight. It is 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. I get 462 yards for this in this skein. And I, this was the one I fell in love with and I just knew. I had originally planned to do a three color shawl, but I have since changed my mind. And I'll tell you about that. So I went ahead and bought this guy. It was beautiful, beautiful. Uh, it was um, $23. Absolutely gorgeous, totally worth it. And while I was there, she had, now I can get rid of this bag. Got a little lint probably from my arm. She had some homemade wool wash, which is made with water, lanolin, pure castor soap, jojoba oil, lavender, altus cedar essential oils. Um, and then it came with a whole instructions of how to use it and what to use it for. So it smells great and I'm super excited and so glad this didn't get busted on my way home. So that is what I got from excusing my little pen. I got these guys from Roberta Ray Fibers. Loved them. The ladies were so... Oh, that's going to fall. Still my pen there. Super, super nice. The first skein of yarn I bought actually was... I had meant to buy this one first because I did the loop. And when I came back, I realized I had missed a booth in the corner and was super sad because she was a super cool booth. Um, you probably can't read this, but it's Cat Sock Fibers LLC. And you can find them on Etsy at Cat Sock Fibers LLC. Um, Cat Sock Fibers LLC at gmail if you want to email her on instagram it's cat sock fibers and on twitter it's cat sock fibers i'll show you the card here if you guys get a chance to see that and i walked past her booth and she had some colorful yarns because you guys should know i'm totally into colorful yarns like these speckles like this and i look and i find this color and i'm gonna pick it up right now i'm so in love with it look at this color oh this piece of my hair <laughs> that gets everywhere <laughs> look at this color oh isn't it gorgeous? It's like a purpley pink tonal that I'm so in love with. I want to make everything I own with this in it. <laughs> like I need like 500 more skeins. Um, the name of it is called Carry Hope. I get 400 yards and it is a super wash merino fingering weight yard. Isn't it gorgeous? And when I saw this, I instantly remembered this one that I wanted and thought, Marriage made in heaven. Look at how cute these are. <laughs> Anyways, so I got this one from her booth. I did buy one more thing from her booth. I ended up buying it at the end because I didn't notice it when I was there. There's just so much going on at a fiber fair. But I will show you it now and we'll talk about it in a later video. I found this little mystery box. It's called a mystery knit kit. It's supposed to have a skein of yarn, I think a stitch marker or something, and a little bit of wool wash that she made. This was from Cat Sock Fibers, and I will be opening this up in my next video. So excited. We'll set that there. So that's what I got at Cat Sock Fibers. 
like I said, I loved both these booths, but this next booth I'm going to tell you about was my absolute favorite. It was a husband and wife duo. They are called Iron Wheel Farms. I'll put that up there for you guys. Hope you can see it. Oh my goodness. Danielle and Andrew Wentz. They are amazing. They were just like totally hustling. Okay. They were talking to everybody. They were willing to help you with everything. Like I came over and I was showing them the yarns I got and they were trying to help me pick out other yarns I like. They were so, so cool. I love them. Um, and they have everything. They do everything. They do, um, let's see, IFR registered finished sheep, registered polypay sheep, and crosses from breeding stock, uh, fiber pets and meat. They do fleeces, sheepskins, roving, comb top, yarn. They also sell alfalfa grass, alfalfa, or alfalfa, alfalfa grass mix, hay in small squares, and round bales. So right now, um, their shop is down at the moment because it is, I guess they're dealing with hay or something at the moment is what she told me. But you can contact them anywhere. She said, just look them up on Facebook or Instagram at the Iron Wheel Farms. I did. I love them. I follow them. And if you need anything, just email them at, um, you can either get a hold of them at, on Facebook or the Danielle Wentz at Gmail. It's at the bottom of the card if you guys see it there. Or you can go to their Etsy store. Like I said, their store is down right now, but only before the season. It will be back up. Love them. They had amazing yarn. So, remember where I put that bag. I bought two skeins from them. Because I bought one, and then I came back because I just couldn't help myself. So the first one I bought, when I saw it, I fell in love. Don't you guys love this? It's like greens and yellows and purples and pinks. It's so pretty. So this is called Victoria's Revolution. I love that. I love a fun name. 75% uh, superwash merino and 25% nylon. I get 463 yards for this. Oh, so pretty, isn't it? And then when I went back and I was trying to think I was going to make a three color, they helped me pick out this other one, but I've decided now to just use these two by themselves and use these guys for something else. They helped me pick out this one. It's like whites with a little purple and a little yellow, and I just love it. This one is called... Hmm, just number 178. This one didn't get a name. <laughs> it's again the 75 Superwash Merino and the 25% Nylon. So that is it. This is all I got from the Fiber Fair. And look at these yarns. Aren't they just gorgeous, guys? Oh my goodness. I love them so much. Especially this one. Doesn't this one? Who else votes that this reminds you of Cheshire Cat? I got a piece of lint on it. Totally reminds me of Cheshire Cat. And I love Cheshire Cat. And then, can't wait to see what's in this guy. And I needed wool wash. But anyways, so that was all from the Fiber Fair. I'm going to push it kind of over to the side here. Put my little wool wash. Got to be careful. Well, actually, I'm going to put my wool wash back here. I don't want to knock that guy off. Although my house would smell amazing for a while. <laughs> and then my little llama pen. So, I have got a giant. Oh, sorry, i got to lean off camera a little. Giant bag of stuff to share with you guys. Because... I went to, oop, I just squished that little bag. <laughs> I went to, um, there was a yarn store in Petoskey, and I would tell you all the information and show you all the stuff, but uh, sadly, it's going out of business, so it's really kind of pointless. You saw a clip, a couple little photos of that at the end. Um, gorgeous store, the people were wonderful. Um, the word is there was some family health issues, and they just feel like it's time to shut the store down. But it was gorgeous, and they had everything. When I went, 50% off. Since then, they've had more sales. I'm sure they're pretty much sold out of everything. But I bought a couple of wonderful things. First, I want to show you, I bought some more roving. I bought this giant bag. Isn't it cool? It's all colorful. It's by um, Bada, or Bada Fiber, sorry. And it is Superwash Merino. It's eight ounces, and it's called Unicorn Boogers, which I laughed so hard when I heard that. But you guys can see, it's this gorgeous like rainbow roving that I'm just going to someday spin. I promise that a spinning video will be coming eventually. <laughs> but I couldn't help it. It's unicorn boogers. It's, I know, I'm like a child. The word boogers and I was giggling all day anyway. Um, I bought, I'm going to lean here a little, sorry guys. I bought two skeins of this. Beautiful Malabrigo, 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 I always say it wrong. Beautiful fingering weight yarn. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is 420 yards of fingering weight yarn. And it is called, 
Machita? Machita? I'm so sorry. So bad at the name. But it's so beautiful. Yeah, Machita. It's beautiful. Look at that, guys. That's a better word. It's Makita. Makita. My husband thinks it's Makita. And they were 50% off, so I got two of them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's Malabrigo, and I had to get it, and it's so pretty. It's just so pretty. Um, and then I kind of went, I'm going to try to pick up my bag a little so I don't, like, bend down ridiculously far. Be totally off camera. I went a little crazy when I found the Plymouth Yarn Company's hand-dyed worsted superwash merino. The first color I saw was this one. Isn't this gorgeous, you guys? Look, I got two skeins. This is called Blueberry. And again, I told you it is worsted merino hand-dyed superwash. I get 218 yards per skein. Isn't that beautiful? And I got two of them. So we got two of those. And the next color I got was this one. I don't know which one to hold up. They're both gorgeous. This one's called Crayon. Same thing, same makeup, same yardage, all that. Just a different shade of it. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? I can't decide which one of these two are my favorites. But my absolute favorite. And I died when I saw it. Was this one. And one of the tags got ripped off. So, But I got a tag on one. It's this color. And this one's called Lipstick. Oh, oh isn't this so beautiful, you guys? And I'm going to talk about this one a little more here in a second. I'm going to show you the last two things I bought at the Fiber or up in Petoskey. And then I'm going to talk more about this, okay? Because I have to talk to you guys about this guy. Oh, he's so pretty. But the last thing I bought at that store was this adorable little sheep. And look, look, you pull his little tail and it's a measuring tape. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? And somebody like crocheted it. It's so cute. <sighs> I absolutely loved it. Thought it was too adorable. <laughs> And then the last thing I bought was actually a keychain, but I'm going to put it on a hat. I ran, when I came out of there, I was so hot from all of the shopping I did. I ran into the Dollar General, and they had this amazing pom-pom. Look at this guy. With the tones of yellows and green. Isn't it amazing? Won't this look great on my head? What do you guys think? Is it good? Should I put it on a headband or a hat? What do you think? <laughs> Anyways, I bought that guy. That's just pointless. But oddly, I got this guy 50% off too, which was really weird because I was just like a 50% off sale. Okay, that's all I bought. This is my haul, but now we got a quick, just little side teeny bit I had to share with you guys. So I fell in love with this guy and I got in the car and I realized I want to make a sweater out of it. And I searched and I searched and I searched and I searched and I could not find any more of this gorgeous yarn. And then I found Jimmy Bean Wool and, or Jimmy Bean Wool's I'll have to look at that one again. And they had some in stock. So I ordered two more skeins. I really need like a ton more. So if anybody knows where I can get this lipstick color, please let me know. I want more. I need, they only had a couple of skeins and I need like, I think 10 more to make me a sweater. So if you know anywhere I can get this, please write me. Please let me know. I am dying. So again, it is the uh, Plymouth select from Plymouth Yarns the worsted merino superwash hand dyed in the color lipstick. So I ordered two because after all of that that's about as much money as I had that day. I ordered two and I waited for them to come and I got so excited when my package got here and then I opened it. <laughs> and I want to show you the importance of buying if you're going to make a sweater out of hand dyed yarn trying to buy all of the same dye lot. So I've got two more and I'm going to pick them up. And I'm going to hold them up against this one. <laughs> Do you guys see a difference here? The difference is, is this is dye lot number 7751. And this is dye lot number 202093. Obviously, this one has a lot less pink going on in it. Still very pretty. But if you guys are trying to make a sweater, and I'm going to tell you what's, why it's not a big deal for me. But if you're trying to make a sweater, you're going to try to want to get everything at the same time because... These two skeins are drastically darker than these two skeins, but they're the same color. But what I want to do is buy a bunch of this yarn and then just kind of like fade them together. So it'll be like a lighter to a darker. And then if, I, if the next lot's a little lighter, darker, it'd just be like kind of really cool ombre stripes. So I don't really care that they are not the same because I think they'll look good fading them kind of from these lighter to the darker. So again, if you guys know where I can pick up the Plymouth Select Worsted Merino Super Wash Hand Dyed, that's a mouthful, in the color lipstick, please let me know. 
I need quite a bit more of it to make me a sweater. And I don't care what dye lot it is. I will just do a really cool, weird, stripy sweater. That's the kind of person I am. Anyways, that's all of my stuff. I'm so excited. I love all of it. I cannot wait to go to another fiber fair. I'm so, so, so excited about it. It was so much fun. And I hope that the next time I go, I run into some of you guys because I love meeting my fans. And sorry it took so long to get a video up. Out of town. Sorry. I'll plan better next time I'm going out of town. I promise. Well, that's it for now, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.